Atsuko Boyd's previous career in IT led her to travel the world and discover her love of food. And despite her broad food interests, she still knows a good slice of pizza when she tastes one. For thin crusts and fresh ingredients, she heads to Rion in Center City. Riona is a fast casual uh, Roman style uh, pizza al taglio. Uh, pizza al taglio means pizza by the cut or slice, which is uh, inspired by authentic, typical uh, pizzeria uh, found in every corner of Rome. Thus the name uh, Riona, which actually uh, translates to neighborhood in Italian. So we decided to do Roman style pizza because Francesco is from Rome originally. So that is where his home is and he wanted to bring a piece of home to Philadelphia. When you come in, you can pick a lot of different varieties of pizza. We have about 14 to 16 on display, half of which are vegetarian. So it's really meant to be a mix and match style when you come in. You can get different slices, try different things. I learned how to make this style of pizza back in Rome. We do a 72 hour rise to our dough. It's a highly hydrated formula. I mean, everyone's tried pizza, but Roman style is just different. The crust is just uh, key here. We also want guests to feel very welcome and you know we really try to um, make sure our staff are friendly and casual because we want them to kind of experience the hospitality that they would in Rome. Atsuko, yes. you've eaten some incredible things around the world. I have. But you really love Rion. Tell us why you picked it. Because it fits into the category of incredible foods. So for me, it's mostly about how fresh something is, how unique it is. Um, even at some level, I'm realizing that I like authenticity, so I go and I expect it, and there it is. And so with Rion, typical of Roman-style pizza, it's like this flaky, thin, but crispy crust, and the ingredients, probably no more than three or four, I'm guessing, on any one slice, but they're so fresh, and it's just... The name calls it out and there's no foam, no whips, no air, no frou-frou about it. And it's delicious. And there's a lot of pies to choose tons, from. They have tons. it all lined yep. up and can be really difficult, but you can buy them by the slice. Yeah, so for, for a chow hound like me, it's great because you can get variety. And the, the toppings are really exciting. This past time that you went, you went double trouble with the truffle. I did, I did. So truffle, I have to tell you, I typically do not like truffle. It's overpowering, but again, because Rion keeps it very simple, the truffle was the dish. So there was truffle, there was some cheese, um, there was a little bit of oil on it, but other than that, you were getting truffle pizza. The Kia. Yes. When you checked out Rion, mm -hmm. you got a lovely margarita pizza. I did. How was it? It was delicious. I, I liked the margarita pizza. It was just the right amount of tomato on it. And um, the ricotta, I'm sorry, the mozzarella wasn't the mozzarella slices, it was uh, the crumbles. So it was like, like crumble mo mozza uh, mozzarella on top. So it was really delicious. It was just, an, just enough. You tried a few other slices as well. Yes. The pesto, how was the pesto? Yes, uh, the pesto was really good. Uh, it wasn't my favorite, but the pesto was good. Uh, be it, I think the thing that disappointed me about the pesto was that I didn't get enough of the oil. Uh, on the pizza, so like you're biting, looking for more of that flavor because when you got to it, it was it was perfection. It was pesto the way it should be, but you had to get to the pesto. So, <laughs> but again, it was delicious when you got there. It just left you wanting to get to the pesto, and you wanted to get more of the pizza. So it was good. Chip, you got some pizza as well as a Caesar salad. I did. How was that Caesar salad? Uh, the Caesar salad was great. It was a great kickoff to the meal. And then, uh, I mean, it's pizza, Kaylani. I mean, how can you, how can we go wrong? I mean, it's it's pizza. It was delicious. Uh, and it was great. And I love the, uh, af after the after the salad, I just love the selection where you could just go right down through the line and pick any. I'm a pretty basic guy too, so I had my plain slice and then the, which I guess is the marinara pizza, and then the uh, Diavolo, I think it's called, yes. which had a nice kick to it, which I really liked. We, I mean, we live in the pizza belt, what's considered like the pizza belt, which is this like that region in the Northeast. Sounds, I feel so proud. <laughs> well, we live it during this era of <laughs> like a, a pizza renaissance, so the variety of kinds of pizzas, but this Roman style, uh, what what is indicative of a Roman style pizza? So one, um, 
from what I've read, is that it's the shape. So rather than a triangle or a traditional circular pie, it comes in squares. Um, also, the way that the crust is made, I couldn't quote myself on this, but um, it's, it's a much lighter crust. It's not necessarily thin crust, but it is not definitely uh, as, as, I was going to say risen. It doesn't rise as much as traditional pizza. It's not like a Sicilian yeah. thick yeah. slice. Or, or even yeah. just a traditional pie, you know, where they have the edge where the crust is thick and fluffy. Yeah, yeah. thick it's and not... fluffy. Then there's some pizza styles that are have the leopard spotting, which is when the bubbles kind right. of burn which is, a little bit. Which is what more of some people like burnt crust. Well, I like crispy bubbles. However, Ooh. it kind of put, I do, I love them. But it kind of put me in the mind frame of a flatbread pizza is kind of how I, I felt yeah. about it, the texture, uh, the chewing that was involved. Um, it was, you know, the flavor of the bread. It kind of put me in like a, a flatbread pizza. I did like the fact that it was a thinner crust pizza, but it still involved uh, chewing effort. <laughs> so by the time you were done, uh, you, were, you were still full. So you got your slice of pizza and you still felt, and I mean, I had, I had four slices and I had <laughs> By so, yourself? Wow. Yeah, um, years later. Go, so, girl. Congratulations. So, yeah, and I, a friend went with me, and I treat, it was my treat, and I bought her four slices, and I had four slices, and so, yeah. <laughs> I love so you. I was definitely full when it was time to go. And so, you dined in, <laughs> yes. Rion. What did you think of the atmosphere? Oh, I thought it was fun and funky. It looked like a place where I go with my friends to hang out. I think I could take the kids there, but it looked more of to me, like it was more like a place to go with your friends and just hang out, maybe on your way to something or on your way from something and just grab a quick bite to eat there. Chip, you're often at Helium, which is around the corner from Rion. Right. Um, what did you think about the experience of dining there? Well, it was nice to find the place because it, it is, a, it's not that sit down place that we talked about with the other two restaurants. It's, you can definitely do that, but it was, it's definitely more of an on the go place. So I can stop by there before or after a show and just grab a slice or four and, uh, <laughs> and enjoy myself. You know, so it's, it's a nice, it's a little bit more laid back than, than the other two places. I think it's just a, a quick on the go place. In addition to pizzas and salads, they also have desserts. The key, I know you got that cannoli. Yeah, so I had a cannoli. I know, right? I split it with my friend because. Wow. Um, How big were they? Did they? The cannolis were really small. Oh, okay. They were, they were, they were petite. But it was, that was good. generous of you to split it with a friend. Well, I had four slices of pizza, so I had to split it with somebody. <laughs> Chip, how was your tiramisu? Uh, the tiramisu was very good. It was sort of a prepackaged, just in a to-go cup, which which is kind of nice. So I know I can get tiramisu on the go. I know where to go now. Uh, but uh, it was it was nice. But they they did a nice little tiramisu. My other dessert that I got the Nutella sandwich was amazing and they took it back and it was on a on it was just a sandwich of nutella that they just melted the nutella so i was just a mess sitting in the corner i'm sure people were looking at me with just nutella all over my face and hands but it was delicious atsuko rion is your pick sum it up for us a definite neighborhood go-to for value as well as for food chip sum up your experience for us uh, just a great value to stop in and grab a couple of really nice quick slices the Kia sum up Rion for us. A nice place in the middle of a fast play, pace area that you walk in and everything else slows down around you and it's just you and the company you keep and you get to enjoy your slice of pizza. That's touching. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> it's such emotion and passion for pizza. I love it. <laughs> Grab a slice at Rion located at 102 South 21st Street in Philadelphia, 215-575-9075. They're open for lunch and dinner seven days a week and reservations are not accepted. The average tab per person without drinks is $11.